Well, no doubt about it, we are dealing with a rough flu season this year. It's very important to help your immune system any way that you can. Here are some tips. Dr. Lisa Hart from Elite Care. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Um, you've got vitamin C, vitamin D on down the line. Let's start with vitamin C. And i got to tell you, right off the top, somebody once told me, very recently, in fact, that vitamin C is overrated, but that, that can't be true. No, you know, prevention is key, and that involves taking advantage of several things. It's never just one thing. You can have several things adding for good or bad. With um, vitamin C, you know, almost everyone likes oranges, mm -hmm. and uh, they're in season now, and so I recommend an easy thing to do, because uh, the vitamin C actually helps you make more white blood cells, and I call the white blood cells little soldiers, and you want the little soldiers out fighting off the viruses and the bacteria. And you can cut up some oranges the night before and send them out with Everyone in your household, send one with your spouse, your kids, take one yourself. You know, if someone's sitting in traffic on Mopac or 35, just eat instead of a donut, which the sugar suppresses your immune system for six yeah. hours, uh, eat some oranges, vitamin C, and have a boost before you go into that germy environment because schools, workplaces are full of germs these days. Good idea. Sitting on the set, we can do that That's true. Uh, in the morning. Vitamin D. How about vitamin D? It comes from milk, sun? Just well, places? vitamin D is um, is the sunshine vitamin. Mm -hmm. It's a, there's a little bit in milk. It's fortified, but not enough to be therapeutic. Okay. And these days, that's the one thing I really recommend patients supplement, especially in the winter, but really year round. Um, you have to have vitamin D to fight off the viruses. There's some specific things that the vitamin D is involved with, certain enzymes. And if you don't have it, you're going to get sick. It actually decreases your risk of getting the flu by about 70% if you have a good level of vitamin D. Okay. Well, so we're brought up to think that vitamin D is a cure-all for everything with milk. How about omega-3? Okay, omega-3. So salmon is good, and it's full of omega-3s, which are natural anti-inflammatories. If you have tissue that's inflamed, it's damaged tissue, and this is a cycle you can keep perpetuating. But with the omega-3s, it puts out that fire and keeps you up with healthy tissue, uh, so it's not, a, it's not a Petri dish for the bacteria. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Is there a particular way you should cook the salmon? Does it matter, does it matter at all? No, you know, a lot of people just take fish oil capsules or fish oil, liquid cod liver oil, for instance, but salmon is delicious any way you cook it, and it's a nice natural source. Okay, how about uh, green tea and what do you have, pumpkin seeds, that they fall in the same category? Yes. Well, pumpkin seeds are full of zinc, and zinc is really good for the immune system as far as making more white blood cells. Oh, yeah and more interferon, which helps to fight off viruses also. Mm -hmm. And then green tea, you know, too many people are just drinking caffeinated beverages all day. So coffee, sodas, <laughs> black tea, and yeah. those dehydrate you. And if you're dehydrated, you can't fight off the, um, the viruses. Your, your, your body is really a chemical factory and it cannot operate well um, for immune system or anything else if you're dehydrated. So instead of the soda, the sugar again, it, it, it paralyzes your immune system for about six hours. Wow. So that's a bad thing to do when you're gonna be in a germy environment. Yeah. Drink pure water and then the green tea and other herbal teas actually boost the immune system also. So green tea doesn't dehydrate like say if I drink mm -hmm. regular leptin type tea? Not at all. Okay, mm -hmm. and last, the uh, probiotic? Yes, kombucha is a good source of probiotic mm -hmm. and there's some local ones made here in Austin too, but it's full of various live strains of antibiotics or um, bacteria, which acts as a natural antibiotic. You want your gut to be healthy because a little bit over half your immune system is from your gut. Okay, that sounds great. I've learned a lot today, especially about the six hour issue with- uh, Yes, no sugar. Yeah, Boy, it's hard to stay off that. <laughs> Dr. Lisa Hart, thanks so much for being with us this morning.